But when you go to that village, which has never understood the transformation that technology can bring to the lives of people, and you talk to those people who have been affected by the magic of Bhavasha, then what does Manohari Bai of Nagore say? She says, Mere parivar mein Bhamasha card banwa. Mere parivar ne Bhamasha card banwa ke rakha tha. Vidva pension ke roop mein mere mata ji ki prati ma prati ma 500 rupee milte the. Rashan bhi prati ma anguthe ke nishan lagane se milta tha. Narega mazduri bhi khati mein khate mein hi aa jata tha. Janani suraksha yojana ke se putra hone par 1400 rupee khate mein aa gaye the. Mujhe kitni khushi hai. She is unbelieving that these things can actually just with the press of a finger or of the swipe of a card can go straight through to something called the bank account. The bank account to a card? Is that possible? But it is and they didn't know it. It is the transformation that is happening across the state. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the words of the poor and I am only taking, bringing one to your notice. Just imagine how many more people there are in every single village in every single district who if you reach out to them will tell you the same story now today we have it rajasthan leaving various footsteps it's huge footsteps from smart street lights to waste management to smart transportation from integrated command and control just now as you were talking about you some you know actually i would like you to ask all these ladies and gentlemen those who are living in jaipur if anyone wants to go and see the cyber command network that the police and yourselves have put up and I think that it's time for them to go and see it because then they will understand what policing is going to be in the next technological new year it will frighten you all to death and there will be a lot of criminals running for their lives so I suggest it will be a very good idea just to take a peep in there and see what exciting things are going on including things like cyber forensics but these are things we read about, we talk about, but we are actually going to do. And from EPDS to statewide GPS monitoring of vehicles and integrated payment gateways, we are, all, we are a front runner in all of these. So please take time out, some of you. I'm sure that the police commissioner will organize that groups of people can actually come and see this. I want you to go out and tell the people that you meet after that, that boys and girls, be careful. There's a lot of stuff that they have and it's not going to be the old way of policing anymore. It's going to be a new way of doing it, so we all better behave ourselves. That's a good place to be. And much of all of this has been possible because we have a very good IT and ITES policy and an e-government architecture which is of the gold standard and again as I say we could not have done it without our team and without the help of all the others. And by the way we are not embarrassed to say that we don't mind asking Bangalore, we don't mind asking any other state in the country to tell us if they have something better than us and where if we have something interesting we could improve it with their inputs. We are not embarrassed or shy to do that. And that is the reason we are where we are today. It's because we praised, we've admired, and we've copied, and we have new things into which we've integrated all of these things, which make Rajasthan a front runner in uh, the comity of states, as I would say. We also have a startup policy to nurture. Actually, these what they call disruptive technologies, and our youth are incubating ideas that can turn out now in time to come to become gate changers. Now talking of disruption, this is very important for us. I say we need to create these because we need to challenge, in brackets, disrupt. We need to challenge the status quo. Around forever and ever and ever. We need to challenge that. We need to shake it up. We need to come with new ideas. New ideas, new innovations, new thinking. That is the only way that you're going to be able to shake up that status quo and bring something new happening on the ground. That will revolutionize the way of thinking and the way of working of any government and of people to government relationships. This is extremely important for us. So today, in order to encourage the startups and the IT entrepreneurs further, I would like to throw a challenge to any of you gentle folks who wish to take up the challenge. And by the way, the challenge is well paid. The challenge is well paid. That might be interesting. Well, you know, 
When we talk 7 lakhs, when we talk 15 lakhs, it's a way beyond that. But I have an interesting challenge. The challenge is to study government processes in various sectors and come up with interesting solutions that improve further the ease of doing business. Now you go and get Atford where, where the public interface with government and you have a problem and then you go and complain and the newspaper writes about it, television writes about it and nothing happens. Now we need to make the change. So this is something where we all work together. Government is not sitting on a, on a hill directing operations, no. Government is part of this where we are all working together to change the quality of life for all of us in the state, to make it better, to make it more interesting. And for that, you can also put yourself out and help do so. So I am going to throw you a challenge in which you can study government processes in various sectors and come up with some solutions that improve further the ease of doing business and also streamline these citizen-centric services so that all these intermediate layers get reduced. You can go straight for the kill and they become easy, seamless and completely transparent. Now, this is where public interface comes into play. When you have public interface, where it's maximum public interface, then you have problems. Housing board, Nagarpalika, transport, Jaipur Development Authority, uh, lots of places where these kind of things happen. And I say, this, this, so I believe this is a very much needed disruption in an outdated government procedural setup. And I believe will it bring a paradigm shift in fast-tracking government service delivery. And I've already announced in the budget that mandatory conditions of prior experience, you know, you're all worried about this, the prior experience, chahiye, government always says, teen saal ka experience hona chahiye, aur itna turnover hona chahiye. Humne keh diya hai ki iske andar koi zarurat nahi hai, koi experience ki zarurat nahi hai, koi turnover wali baat karne ki zarurat nahi hai. All these are relaxed. And the best solution, jo bhi hai, will be ranked by the jury, then you will receive work orders to implement the solution, which means getting paid for that work. Anyone? Anyone for those challenges? Are you guys ready for the challenges? Yes, yes ma'am. I want to see that because you become a part of government. If there is a way you want government to operate, let's see you become a part of it. And let's give you the challenge to make the difference to government. Can you do it? Yes, ma'am. Right, we'll see. Lots of enthusiasm, much clapping. Yay, we're going to do it. And let's see what happens at the end of it all. Please note. You have to keep that list of able operators at the end. Show me. I bet it's going to be just three or four people who are going to actually be able to put themselves out to do this. Can you do it? Can you not? Is something I'll be able to see. Then the government space is also taken up by the fruits of technology. So we have an e-office application, Raj Kaj, that cuts down all the red tape and all these things that, that get in the way of people getting their work done quickly. Then there's integrated GIS initiative, Raj Dhara. This is bringing in a new era in policy making. And I'd like to mention here, we have very interesting partners. For example, Cisco. They have an initiative which we are working with just now. It's called the Lighthouse Project. And folks, this is the first and only one in Southeast Asia as of now. Southeast Asia, I'm not talking India. So Jaipur is hosting Cisco's Lighthouse Project, which is the first of its sort in Southeast Asia. Put that into your pipe and smoke it. Okay. Then, it's also a step towards what I call Smart Jaipur. And we've also got something called the Global Center of Excellence, which was actually, I mean, John Chambers came all the way here to cut that ribbon. So you can imagine how important it is. It is housed at the moment in uh, Jetpack, in Jetpack. And there was a very interesting conference over there. He came for that, he cut the ribbon, he met all the youngsters and went. As a man of that stature, chose Rajasthan. It's not Bangalore. <laughs> not Bangalore. <laughs> then we also have it was your fault, you shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> then as you said, there was Abhay, the command and control center that we all talked about. And uh, police and IT department have done wonders over there. And this will go a long way in controlling crime and also cyber crime, which is becoming a real menace 
in these days. So, timely help is what everybody requires and that's what they're going to get. And disaster management and also emergency services, if required, will also be taken care of by them. It's basic cutting-edge technology and the best in the setup the world. And by the way, set up in record time. We set it last year in budget and this year by budget. That means exactly less than a year in fact. It's up and running. So, congratulations to you all for that. Last year, we also launched a multimodal Raj Net. That's also interesting. And today, we operationalize, well, we are operationalizing the widest IP telephony hotline in the country. Again, everything's in the country. We're not talking state. The private sector, the government of India, and the media alike have recognized Rajasthan. They have recognized that we are a trendsetter for IT in India. We have won the Digital India Award. We have won the CSI Nehalent Award and the Express IT Award, all recognizing Rajasthan in the state category for being one of the most advanced in information technology. So finally, the pace at which the IT infrastructure is involving in Rajasthan, especially with your Bamasha data center. You showed us some pictures of it. But again, I think it's very important that perhaps we should do it in such a way that you can look in. So people can look in. Now, they don't need to disturb you, but they can walk through your office while you're working. So they get an idea that Rajasthan is really not a step behind anybody. We are way, way beyond them. And they can see you from outside that without disturbing you. The kind of work that is actually taking place in Rajasthan. So the, in the end, only those very interested in IT solutions will come. Um, I also look forward to the promise that soon we will be in a position, not, not just to support other states, but the central government 